it like wrestling the Road Warriors? Do you think that they can match up strength with you and your brother in the ring? No. And next question. That was pretty easy. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, man. The Road Warriors, me and my brother were millennium. We were a millennium team. We took size, speed, and agility to a new height. That was Harlem Heat. The World Warriors, okay, they can get in the gym and bench press 500 pounds, but so can I. And you have a guy that may have been probably the most prolific athlete to ever step in the square circle, Booker T, who not only was a strong guy, a man that could wrap circles around most opponents in the ring, mentally and physically. And when you put all that together, you know what you got? You got the best tag team that ever stepped in the middle of the square circle, bar none. So would you say that Harlem Heat was better than Stars and Stripes? I would say Harlem Heat was better than any tag team that anyone out there can crunger up and spit out of their mouth. That's what I'm saying. What were your initial impressions? You and your brother had been in the company for a while at this point, and then Kevin Nash and Scott Hall showed up. Do you have any feelings one way or another about that? You know what? I'm not an insecure person when it comes to professional wrestling. I am a realist. And WCW was, I had nothing with Ke Kevin Nash and Scott Hall are two of my best friends that I ever encountered in this business. I had no ill will toward them. Um, none whatsoever. Uh, my ill will was a toward people that ran WCW. And if you happen to be within that, then I had ill will toward certain uh, people that ran WCW. Not, no, not with the people that I participated in the ring with. So as far as Kevin Nash and Scott Hall go, they're no bigger than the people that are running things. Or they're no smaller than the people that run things. And everything they do has an agenda from someone else. That is how the professional wrestling game is ran. So when people ask that question, no, it's no ill will. It's never any ill will toward the the people that are in the ring with you. It's always the idiotic imbeciles that are outside the ring that think they know what they're doing. Which leads into another fan question: Was it as mismanaged and hard to deal with the politics there with the upper management? To a certain degree, yes. To a certain degree, but you know, in professional wrestling, you know, it's just like the military. You take orders and you go out and do the very best you can possibly do when someone tells you to do it. And that's pretty much about it. What's up guys, Booker T, five time champ September. Here we come, the Harlem Heat reunion. Booker T and Stevie Ray back together again at the OECW Arena. Oh. The Harlem Heat is coming. 